Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I like to talk about ways to make money on your phone, creating passive income sources, and some helpful tips here and there. Now if you like this type of content, I'd appreciate it if you'd smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you get notified when I make videos in the future. Today's video is a few bonus tips on house hacking. Now before getting into this, I do have to let you know, I am not a professional on this topic. So do your own research before acting on any of the tips that I give you in this video. So whether you're trying to figure out a way to buy your first home or to start building your rental portfolio, this video could lead you in the right direction. There's one more helpful tip that I've recently came across in my research. This I did not know before, but if you're looking to buy a two to four unit with an FHA loan, if you need a co-signer to make this happen, that co-signer either needs to live in one of those units or you're going to have to put 25% down on that loan rather than the 3.5% down which is the reason most people go with an FHA loan in the first place. Now there are a few ways around this, especially if you're looking at a duplex. Now if you have access to both units from the inside and also have at least one utility tied together, you might be in the clear. And also possibly only having one kitchen. But I do not have confirmation on the multiple kitchens. I was not able to track down a concrete answer on that. Now after all your inspections and your closing, that's when you can get a little bit more creative on what you can do with your house. So whether you're going conventional or with a FHA or a VA loan, if you have that option, here's a few things you wanna look at when house hacking a single family residence. One thing, when you're going to look at these houses, look at how they're separated. Is it sort of separated so that each one of you or possibly three or four people living there has some sort of privacy? And also, is that something that's important to you? When you're looking around for houses, look for those two bedroom, one bath houses that have over a thousand square feet. Sometimes, depending on how the layout is, you can find a way to put a third bedroom in there. And when purchasing, those houses are the ones that are a little bit cheaper on the market. Or is there an attached garage that maybe you can insulate and turn into another room? You kind of have to get creative when looking to rent out room by room, especially when you're young and single, to get started buying your first property and start building up that cash flow. Also, look at the zoning in the area. Maybe you're in an area that allows multifamily. So that single family you bought, maybe you could turn it into a duplex. And just another little tip, as you start to build up your income and you're seeing this cash flow come in, don't let the income creep get to you. If you don't know what that is, it's when you start making more money, your spending habits grow with the increase of your income. So this was a short little video with just a few tips on how to house hack a single family house. So hopefully a few of these will help you out if this is something you're looking to do. I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you get videos when I make them in the future. And if this is something that's right for you, then go ahead and give yourself a raise. I'll see you next time. Now on the right and left, a few videos will pop up. If you like what you see here, check out a few of my other videos.